it is Gary Carter night here at Shea Stadium. There have been more than 15,000 players to have played the game in the major leagues. Less than 200 have been enshrined in baseball's Hall of Fame. Gary Carter joined them on Sunday. I spoke with him earlier. It really truly has now, especially when Sunday night took place, which was after the induction ceremony. And back at the hotel, the Otis Saga, which is the, I guess, main hotel for all the Hall of Famers, is when uh, the ring presentation took place. That's where you really get the feel of the whole weekend and uh, what transpires, starting with Jane Clark's uh, uh, party that she has at her home, to the golf uh, you know, tournament that they have uh, starting Saturday morning, and then leading up to the evening uh, where they recognize the winners and everything, and then the, you're introduced by George Grant, and then the induction ceremony. And I had a little bit of a restless night thinking about um, you know, what, what to anticipate and what to look for. And then when I got up there and was able to, and I thought Bob Euchre was great with his comedy relief, that it kind of relaxed me when I was able to present my speech. And I just really wanted to include everybody, and I wanted to thank everybody, uh, including my teammates, the coaches, managers, everybody that I played for, um, and my family, of course. Uh, but Sunday night, when I got the ring and came back to the room, that's where it really sunk in. Maddie, I mean, that was a, a special moment to come back and then my wife came and joined a little bit later, and I said, well, that completes it. I, I think those, some of those other events, at any rate, are public. People right. can share in that. See right. you at the golf tournament. Obviously, 18,000 people were right. there on Sunday when the induction ceremony took place. But now here you are, just with Hall of Famers. And you look around that room, wow. and it's the greatest of the great, and now you right. remember that club. What do you guys talk about? Well, just basically we go back and talk about events that occurred in our careers and stuff. And then there's a little needling going on uh, at one table. They, they call them the Judy table, which is uh, where Ozzie Smith and uh, um, Kirby Puckett, although Kirby had really you know enough home runs that he wouldn't be considered a Judy. But nevertheless, uh, you know, it was the guys that didn't have the big home runs. Like I sat at a table. To my right was Juan Marichal. To his immediate right was Willie Mays. To his immediate right was uh, Tony Perez. Then Orlando Cepeda. Then Willie McCovey. And then um, it was Monty Irvin. And I mean to tell you, that was so special. And, and Eddie Murray also was at the table. But I'm saying that I'm thinking about all those great giant players and all the great home run hitters like McCovey and Mays and Tony Perez and Orlando Cepeda. And we just talked about, uh, you know, a little bit of modern day and just uh, what's going on in the game of baseball. And uh, uh, Juan Marichal is one of the nicest men, as well as Monty Irvin. And uh, we were just talking about uh, just what had just transpired, uh, the uh, induction ceremony and everything. And everybody was just so kind. And, I mean, there was just 36 of the greatest players that ever played the game in that room, and that was it. Bud Selig was there to make the announcement and present the ring, as well as Dale Petrosky. Otherwise, it was just whoever was serving us food and just Hall of Famers. Was there any of that group that either you had not met or had just met briefly that, that you kind of sought out in, in particular? No, I had met pretty much everyone at one time or another at, at an event or something. And, you know, all along, every one of them were so kind to me. And now that I was in, they said, hey, welcome to the club, and you are deserving. When they say that, you are deserving, that makes you really feel special.